Hi, I'm Joseph O'Connor, and this is another short video on the series of Coaching the Brain, First Step Towards Coaching the World. And we're talking about goals, what we want, what's important to us, and then we have to plan to get them. We need creativity. What stops creativity? Because we can't make ourselves be creative. We have to look more at what stops it. And if we can get rid of the things that stop us being creative, we will be creative. And we're talking about system one and how these quick, easy answers of system one in the brain um, tend to be very influenced by the environment. So our thinking is influenced by the environment. And there are some very interesting uh, research experiments that show this. One of them is called the Florida effect. And this comes from an experiment in the United States in 1996. And basically they took a number of students and uh, they asked them to take uh, a random word association test. They paid them for this. So uh, they took a group, uh, they were walking down the hall to the examination room, they sat down, they did a, a quick word association test where they were given random words and they had to associate a word with that. Then they walked back down the corridor where they were paid $15 or so uh, for their time. One of the groups, however, the words were not random. The words that they had in their test were words associated with aging, getting older, being weaker, being not in such good health. So there were words like retirement, um, age, um, Florida came up. That's why this is called the Florida effect, because Florida is the state in the United States where many retired people go. And then this group was paid in exactly the same way. And what the experimenters noticed and what they were looking for was the effect on these students, this particular group, which were exposed to words that were suggesting age and frailty. And what they noticed was that that particular group walked more slowly back down the corridor than they had walked towards and more slowly than any of the other groups that did have the random words. And it seems, and this has been duplicated in many different sorts of experiments, that because the brain processes the words and the physical effects, the physiology, in the same way, then words have an effect on our bodies. If you think about age and frailty, your brain will translate that into real physical effects of age and frailty. Now, very small effect in this case, of course, but interesting to remember that. Um, there's another nice example um, where uh, some students met other students holding a warm cup of coffee in their hand and they talked for a few moments with these other students and they deemed these other students to be quite empathic and warm people whereas uh, those students that were holding a cold drink in their hand judged the same students to be a more cold distant sort of person again because the brain uses the same circuits for the warmth of empathy as it does for the warmth temperature of the body. So you can see that uh, these sort of effects are, can be very important. They will influence our thinking without realizing it and indeed influence our emotions and state and, and physical. So for coaching, what sort of environment do we have? What sort of questions do we ask? What's the client just done? What have they, they just been talking about? What have they just been thinking about before they came to the session? What are they primed in? Important questions. And we'll carry on with that in the next video.